The quadrangle is the common name for a cluster of museums and cultural institutions in Metro Center, Springfield, Massachusetts, on Chestnut Street between State and Edwards Streets. The Dr. Seuss National Memorial Sculpture Garden, in the center of the quadrangle, is surrounded by a park, a library, five museums, and a cathedral. A second cathedral is just on the quadrangle's periphery. Merrick Park On the corner of Chestnut and State Streets, Merrick Park is distinguished by sculptor Augustus St. Gaudens the Puritan, a statue depicting one of Springfield's settlers, Deacon Samuel Chapin. Springfield Central Library and Christ Church Cathedral are adjacent to the park. Topic: Springfield City Library. The Central Library, constructed in 1913, was paid for by Andrew Carnegie. It is the second library to be built at that location. The nonfiction department is based in Rice Hall, named for William Rice, consisting of a main floor and mezzanine. Opposite Rice Hall is the Arts and Music Hall, where multimedia, periodicals, and the computer lab are based. The circulation desk lies in the rotunda between the two halls. Fiction, children's literature, and community rooms are in the basement. The Central Library also has a teen advisory board. A grouping of teenagers who help make decisions and organize events at the library geared towards teenagers. Topic: Cathedrals. The Roman Catholic St. Michael's Cathedral adjoins the neoclassical Springfield City Library at the southeast corner of the quadrangle. Also located near that edge of the quadrangle is the Episcopal Diocese of Western Massachusetts Christ Church Cathedral. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Springfield Museums. Springfield Museums Corporation operates the Dr. Seuss Memorial and 5 museums on the quadrangle. In 2013, the Springfield Museum Consortium achieved national accreditation from the American Alliance of Museums, a distinction awarded to only 6% of national museums in the U.S. In September 2016, Springfield Museums was named as a Smithsonian affiliate, opening up new opportunities for cultural and historical exhibits, as well as educational programs. George Walter Vincent Smith Art Museum The George Walter Vincent Smith Art Museum is the oldest museum on the quadrangle. The museum is named for the collection's original owner. Its exhibits express the taste of Smith and his wife, Belle, and they bequeathed their notable collection to begin the museum. The building dates from 1895 and was designed by Renwick, Aspinwall and Russell and Walter T. Owen. The Ancient Treasures Gallery displays objects from ancient Egypt, China, Greece and Rome. The gallery also presents Greek and Roman sculpture from the recently acquired Blake, Purnell collection of antiquities, and ancient Chinese ceramics and bronzes from the Bidwell collection. Greek pottery and glass from the George Walter Vincent Smith collection complement the classical sculptures. The Japanese Arms and Armor Gallery, in addition to holding Smith's extensive collection of Oriental armor, is the site of an ornate Shinto wheel shrine carved during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Among other collections is a 150-piece holding of Chinese cloisonné work, one of the most extensive collections outside of China
Topic Michelle and Donald Demore Museum of Fine Arts The Michelle and Donald Demore Museum of Fine Arts features mostly American and European works including those of Massachusetts native John Singleton Copley and lithographs of Courier and Ives. Works by Edgar Degas, Claude Monet, and others can be found in the European collection. The museum features many interactive exhibits as well. It also has late medieval and Renaissance paintings by Spinello Aretino, Nicolas Frances, Domingo Valls, Perdinone, Daniele da Volterra Diana, and Goswin van der Weyden. It also has Baroque and 18th-century paintings by Pierre Patel, Jacob Jordanes, Emmanuel de Witt, Jan van Goyen, Ferdinand Boll, Jean-Étienne Lyotard, Canaletto, and Giovanni Paolo Panini. There are also American paintings by Erastus Salisbury Field, Frederick Edwin Church, George Bellows, and Georgia O'Keeffe. There are also contemporary works of art by Helen Frankenthaler, Joseph Grillo, and Lisa Hoke. Topic: <laughs> Springfield Science Museum. The Springfield Science Museum displays elements of natural and physical science from the Eco Center featuring live animals, to the African Hall, which gives visitors a ground sky perspective of an ecosystem on the savanna. Dinosaur Hall includes a life size Tyrannosaurus rex model and skeletons from other dinosaurs. The museum also features a planetarium, the first built in the United States, and one of the very few of the era not built by Zeiss, and Earth science exhibits. Additionally, the museum has its own observatory with a 20-inch telescope that is periodically open to the public. Dr. Seuss National Memorial Sculpture Garden The Quadrangle's perimeter was at one time open to vehicles, but was closed off in the 1990s, becoming a pedestrian-only park. Soon after that, the Dr. Seuss National Memorial Sculpture Garden was opened. Several statues depicting Springfield native Theodore Geisel Dr. Seuss and many of his creations were sculpted and placed on the quadrangle green. Starting in 2017, the William Pinchon Memorial Building, which formerly housed the Connecticut Valley Historical Museum, reopened as the Amazing World of Dr. Seuss Museum in June 2017. Lyman and Mary Wood Museum of Springfield History The newest museum at the Quadrangle is the Lyman and Mary Wood Museum of Springfield History. It opened in the fall of 2009 on the former site of famed painter James McNeil Whistler's childhood home. It tells the story of Springfield, and in particular, highlights its role as the City of Progress", and the City of Firsts. The collection features exhibits on the numerous inventions and pioneering manufacturing techniques innovated there, the city's role in American history, as well as examining Springfield in a broader context as a city during various eras, e.g. different wars, several mass immigrations, and changing transportation technology. Exhibits of antique cars and firearms, formerly housed at the Connecticut Valley Historical Museum, showcase the city's various industries. Also included is a large number of items from the former Indian Motorcycle Museum. The museum also houses the Springfield History Library and Archives, a collection of historical papers and documents, including genealogical records and over 20,000 books related to genealogy. Topic: The Amazing World of Dr. Seuss Museum. 
The newest museum on the quadrangle opened in 2017. The Amazing World of Dr. Seuss Museum blends artifacts and information about the life and work of Dr. Seuss with interactive exhibits aimed at children. <laughs>